The correct title of this article is Green CHRI dollar TMA dollar. It appears incorrectly here due to Wikipedia style restrictions on decoration in titles. Green CHRI dollar TMA dollar is a comedy single written and performed by Stan Freberg and released by Capitol Records in 1958, catalog number F4097. Musical arrangement and direction is made by Billy May, and performed by the Capitol Records House Orchestra. Other vocal performances are by Dawes Butler, Marvin Miller, Will Wright, and the Judd Conlon Chorale. The title is wordplay on the phrase, Green Christmas, a Christmas with no snow, with green, taking on a double meaning of the green ink uniformly used on U.S. currency at that time and still predominant today. This and the replacement of each S in Christmas with a U.S. dollar sign refer to the theme of the sketch, the over-commercialization of Christmas. The sketch adapts two characters from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, Ebenezer Scrooge and Bob Cratchit Butler. The single developed substantial popularity despite efforts from the advertising agencies of the era to suppress its release and promotion through the usual channels such as radio, print media and television a few radio stations defied their sales departments, enough for the song to become a regional hit, as high as number three on Los Angeles radio charts. Plot. <laughs> Scrooge, the head of an unnamed advertising agency, has gathered a group of clients to discuss tying their products into Christmas. One attendee, Bob Cratchit, wants to resist tying his spice company into Christmas, preferring to send Christmas cards with a simple message of, Peace on Earth, Goodwill Toward Men. Scrooge extols the virtues of making money off Christmas, including an over the top medley of parodies of popular Christmas songs entitled, Deck the halls with advertising. That includes an advertisement for Tin E. Tim Chestnuts that borrows heavily from cigarette advertisements and a toothpaste commercial. Scrooge says, Christmas has two S's in it, and they're both dollar signs. Cratchit counters by reminding Scrooge whose birthday we're celebrating. Topic. Message Green CHRI dollar TMA dollar is a scathing indictment of the commercialization of Christmas, with references of Christmas-themed advertising by Coca-Cola and Marlboro cigarettes, among others. The names of the characters are taken from A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, as is one of the products, advertised. Tin E. Tim Chestnuts, parodying Thai D. Bowl Toilet Cleaner, a product introduced the year. Green CHRI dollar TMA dollar was released. The piece also contains a parody of the Christmas Carol, The Twelve Days of Christmas, and an original song by Freberg, Christmas Comes But Once a Year. The single ends with the first phrases of the chorus of Jingle Bells, interrupted by cash register sounds. Topic. Release At first, Capitol Records refused to release the record. Lloyd Dunn, the president of Capitol, told Freberg the record was offensive to everybody in advertising, and predicted that Freberg would never work in advertising again. Freberg responded with his intent to end his entire recording contract with Capitol. He spoke to a contact at Verve Records, and the company offered to release the record without even hearing it. Faced with this, Capital finally decided to release it but provided no publicity at all. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Initial reception. The record was attacked in advertising trade magazines. It was played only twice in New York by one disc jockey, and the station's sales department threatened to have him fired if he played it again. George Carlin once told Freberg that he was almost fired from a DJ job for playing the record repeatedly. 
KMPC in Los Angeles played the record, but some advertisers required that their ads be scheduled more than 15 minutes away from it. An editorial in the Los Angeles Times condemned it, but the author later admitted he had not listened to it. Similarly, Robert Wood, the station manager of KCBS-TV in Los Angeles later president of CBS, canceled a TV interview with Freberg because the record was sacrilegious, and he did not need to hear it because he had read about it. KRLA, Pasadena Freberg's hometown showed it as reaching number three in popularity in their printed survey. It is unclear whether this was based on sales or airplay. Station KFWB, then known as Color Radio Channel 98, where the record reached number three on 3 January 1959, also kept on playing it. KFI, then the Earl C. Anthony station, played it a few times and then discontinued as did many other stations because of reaction from the advertising community. However, the mail Freberg received from the public, including rabbis and Christian clergy, was overwhelmingly positive. <laughs> Aftermath Within six months, Coca-Cola and Marlboro, both recognizably satirized in the record without being named, asked Freberg for advertising campaigns. He turned down Marlboro for Berg, a devout Christian, was adamantly against promoting tobacco and alcohol products, but he created a campaign for Coca-Cola that was very effective. Contrary to the predictions of Lloyd Dunn see above, and others, Freberg would become a prominent figure in advertising himself, producing several iconic advertisements in the 1960s and 1970s. Some years later, Time magazine was going to publish an essay in their Christmas issue about the overcommercialization of Christmas, including considerable attention to green chri dollar tma dollar. The essay was killed at the last minute due to pressure from their sales department. Topic: <inaudible> Rebroadcast and re-release. Of especially noteworthy importance is the impact of this song's message in the heart of corporate America, as reflected in the fact that it received no commercial AM radio airplay until 1983, only getting a little FM airplay before that such as on the Dr. Demento show and only slightly more AM airtime after 1983, by which point AM radio as a music medium was becoming obsolete. Beginning in 1972, Capital reissued the single as catalog number 3503, dividing the piece into two parts. It remained in the Christmas singles section of record stores for years thereafter. It can currently be found on Dr. Demento Presents the Greatest Christmas Novelty CD of All Time, 1989.